Hello everyone, welcome back to Lawrence Place Bacterio Space Exploration. I'm going to be honest, not much has changed since the end of the uh, last video. However, I've got to the point now where I think I'm just about ready to launch. I've got a few more things into my rocket here. Um, as the, the main main addition here is these, this belt here bringing up these purple barrels, which contain the petroleum gas I'm going to need. Um, and I've had a bit of a think about all the other things I want to take up with me as well and made sure they're all in there, including some that I've loaded in manually, like glass and iron and copper and sulphur. Those are all, those are all I've just grabbed off the belt or from um, out of the logistics network and shoved in there. Next time, I'll do it a bit more in a slightly more automatic way. At the end of the last episode, I also hinted about uh, wanting to be able to transmit signals from orbit back down here so I could have my uh, rocket actually requests... Or, sorry, my... my um, Orbital, orbital base actually requests the things that it needs rather than just having a rocket full of goodness knows what fly up there. And so to do that I've got in a signal transmitter and receiver. It turns out I'd already, already researched them, I just hadn't bothered to use them because they're, I didn't need them because I've just been on the one planet and I've been using LTN for my uh, long distance communications in effect. However, now I've got that, and I've got those in there, so I can take up one of each of those. And down here, I've I've got this receiver here that I've not plugged into anything yet, but there is one there, one available, so it's ready to use. Um, pipes are still being loaded in, the gas is still being loaded in, but other than that, I think I've got everything I need. Uh, how much pipe have I got? I've got quite a lot of pipe and a little bit of underground as well, so it's probably going to be all right. Now, there was something else I wanted to take up. Oh, yes, I also realised I'm going to need um, some <coughs> various warehouses. So I've, I've invented, I've um, researched up all of these logistics chests. Uh, I just need to make sure I get the right ones. So I want an active provider warehouse. That's a load of some red and some, oh dear, there's a bit more of this than I thought. Um, let's put this on pause briefly while I get this, this, while I get this built up and ready to go. Okay, so all that was about building up some warehouses and some chests for um, up, up top. So my, my plan is, I've also I've also packed a load of the um, logistics bots and some construction robots. So I'm going to take those up with me as well. The idea is going to be that I'm going to have um, the landing pad is going to dump everything that comes that lands on it into a um, into an active provider chest, and that means the chest you're just going to want to get rid of everything that goes into it as quickly as possible. So the robots will then distribute that elsewhere into other chests in wherever wherever it's available to put it. Um, I'm also going to have a um, storage warehouse, so that's, that's one where miscellaneous stuff can go, and then a huge number of these requester chests, each of which is going to request one of the things that I'm bringing up. And the idea is that this way I can have all of the the things that I actually want to have up there, and they'll all get arranged into these chests neatly, and I'll be able to, and uh, and then I can feed them out onto a onto a system of belts, and I'll effectively have a main bus running up on my um, on my on my uh, space base. So I think I'm going to call this enough um, enough petroleum gas and enough pipes. I'm I, I don't want to hang around any longer. Let's just make sure this is all correct. I've got it. <laughs> my rocket's 80% full now. Most of that is these liquids in barrels. It's a crazy, great takes a crazy amount of space. Uh, I want to go to Norbit orbit, yes. Destination, I want to go to the landing pad. 99% uh, chance of landing, that's pretty good. Okay, let's go. Do we feel brave? Is it going to land? What well, 99% chance? If it doesn't land, I should be rather surprised and a bit disappointed. And a save right in the middle of the launch, thanks for that. Go back up into space. What are those are taking in? Right, that's interesting. Okay, so the rocket still gets um, still gets destroyed. So I was hope I was sort of half expecting it it to be a uh, case okay, so that the rocket itself would land on the landing pad. Uh, don't do any of this. That's very bad. Thanks. <laughs> and then I and well, I don't know. I, I'm not sure exactly what I expected at all. Now come to think about it. Okay, so let's uh, make a start on this. I want to build up an unloading plat area here, like that, into which I shall put that where that provider warehouse that I built. Do I have any? No, I don't. Good. Okay, and then from that, I can put. I've only got one. <laughs> all right, we're going to have to use stack fil uh, filter inserters and just tell them to all 
take everything that they can. Okay, so that will now unload the landing pad into this warehouse, which hopefully is bigger than a rocket. I don't know, we shall find out. Another thing I want to do that I should have thought of earlier, and I'm going to do it now since I've thought of it, is fill that up with productivity modules, because when I'm using this really expensive science, I want it to go as far as it possibly can. Now, next thing is my next thing is to fall off the edge of the world. Let's not do that. Uh, next thing is to have a, a large number of those um, requester chests that I was talking about. I need to I need some more land for this though. Let's put some of this down. Uh, let's take some more of this. I reckon I'm going to find I've not brought enough of this scaffold. That's going to be my biggest problem at this point. Especially if I get then try and start using it for science later. Okay, then we can then use the um, I have a row of these request chests. In fact, I might as well just put them as close to that as I can. And from here, let's say I want this one to be the this one to have iron. Uh, no, I want that all of it. And I'll just go down and try and set each of these to all have the various different things I've brought up with me uh, that I'm going to want to have available. The liquids are going to be a little bit more complicated because they're going to need to be taken out of the barrels as well and put into pipes so um but for now i'm going to at least get them out of the storage system now if i put the logistics bots into here uh they're still in here and some more construction bots they should immediately start unloading this into these chests like that there we go nice what else have we got? Vulcanite blocks, that's something else it's going to need. that I forgot to um, remove all of these so I'm just going to end up with a very full um, rocket silo if, if I don't do it now <laughs> so I'm going to do it now Remind those as well so I don't want it to, I don't want to start filling up with all of this stuff but in fact I don't want it to build a rocket because that's just going to be a waste of parts Okay, I think they're getting close to finishing. What are we putting in now? Iron. Oh, right. These. Never mind. These need to be bigger. And bigger numbers. Okay, so the bots are doing pretty well at emptying all of this stuff out. So let's um, move on to the next step of what I need to do. I want to put in a transmitter here. Like. Where is it? No, it's in here still. Probably. Be in here, I imagine, by now. Now it's the receiver, where's the transmitter? I've already picked it up, yes I have, there it is. Okay, so I'll put that down here. Uh, channel 1 is fine, I think the other ones are on channel 1 as well. So what I can now do is link everything together up here, all of my storage systems. Like so, I'll link them to this pylon so I can get an easy readout, and then to this transmitter. And that will send everything that's up here down to the um, down to the ground station, so I can always tell how much of all the various different things I've actually got up here available for me to use. So I can either do what I did before and have it check how many things are in the rocket, and if they're less than the number of things here, then to insert, or I can have it so that it will um, sort of have some in a um, a constant combinator somewhere that says how many things I want to have as a ne as negative numbers. Add them to this, and then that no and then the, the uh, rocket will always see a negative there until they until they're added together and <coughs> and the numbers are appropriate. So I think that should do what I want. Um, I've run into a bit of a problem here now though, namely you can't put belts on space platform scaffold. <laughs> Uh, I didn't check that. I checked lots of other things, but I didn't check belts. Uh, it turns out there is another type of belt called a space transport belt, which, I don't know, maybe it's got magnets on it or something like that, but um, 
So yeah, these ones can't be placed on space platforms or starships. Spaceships, sorry. Uh, these ones can, so I'm going to need to go back out down to Earth and make some new ones and make some of those. They're not too difficult. They're just Otis Copper, Steel, and Lube. I, I could probably do that up here actually, but I feel that if I'm going to be start, if I'm going to be making things, I want to be making them on the ground and then shipping them up here generally because otherwise, they to make one belt you take up to eight. Yeah, a lot more stuff, and that's probably two barrels, I guess. Another 12, 40, so that's 24 things. Or I can take up one space transport belt, which will probably stack to 100. So now I'll build those on the ground, and then ship them up here. Okay. Um, I think... I'm trying to think, is there anything else I can do while I'm up here? And then there must be. I've, I've built some decontamination facilities, because I know I'm going to need those sooner or later. Uh, so I've got two of those made over here. I need those to work with one of one of the fluid types. I forget which one. Uh, I could I could start manually feeding machines to make sure everything works. I could start I could feed the machines by bot as well. Re replace all these with uh, green chests and use them as buffers. Um, but I don't know. I don't. No, I don't. I don't really want to do to feed things by bots if I can avoid it. It, feel, it feels like a bit of a not not cheating, but I just don't like doing it for things that are going to be done on mass. Uh, let's fill in a little bit more of this space there while I've got the stuff. <laughs> while I have the stuff. Uh, Twelve hundred of it in there. That'll do. Put some more down. So as you can probably tell, I'm planning to have my main bus head off in this direction, um, and so we'll have a massive sweep of all of the belts coming out of here. I'll gradually tweak this and get it set up so that oh that's interesting you might yeah okay um so I've, I've got a nice nice array of belts and it's all it's all working nicely um but it's exactly how i'll do that we'll we'll sort of see as it gets going one of the first things i'm going to need is to have a system that takes these um these fluids and it out and debarrels them and puts the barrels onto the bus instead because i need the barrels for the science packs and i need the fluids as well so i need to pull those out um but then there's going to be a limit to how many fluid barrels i want i'm going to want any overflow to then be passed over here to be put into the um, oop, into a pod so I can get back again. I'm trying to remember how I get back. So there is a there's one of these space capsules. Do I put them? Oh, I'll just put them down there arbitrarily wherever I want. Okay, and I can then load them up with any stuff that's lying around that I want to take back down with me. Um, and with that's empty barrels, scrap, whatever. Uh, what else have I got in here? Oh, petroleum. Ah, that's not been. Oh, that's okay. That's that's fine. It's just the box is full. Um, the rest of it, I don't think. Oh, batteries are probably something I'm going to want to put on there. Uh, these life support canisters. I only really want to get rid of those when I'm on the ground. Um, but I've got the <laughs> auto trashing them from up here, so that's a bit. What does this do? I don't know what this does. I'm not going to set that because I don't know what it does. Um. Yeah, okay, I might have to get rid of that. And just and carry these around manually and then throw them away when I get back down to ground. Okay, so yeah, that was a bit of a screw up. I forgot that I was going to need um or I didn't no, I didn't forget. I didn't realise that I was going to need uh, space transport belts for all of this stuff. So, um oops. I'm gonna head back down to ground, build some of those up, and then uh, come back up here for the next episode and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when I have another go at um, building stuff in space. Hopefully a bit more successfully next time.